What's going on, guys? It's Tony and Mark from Lone Wolf Paintball, and today, what are we going to be doing? We're going to answer some of your questions. Uh, if you didn't know, we got a Facebook group. You guys can ask us anything. You can ask us about gear. You can ask us about skills. You can ask us about, you know, what we did on Saturday. Anything you want, and we'll probably answer it. It's well, literally ask us anything. Anything. Not just paintball. Man, you'd think these guys would take it weird, but they haven't yet, so. Well, um, they might after this one. They could. But before we get started, where should they shop? They should shop LomoPaintball.com. And why? Because we're the best source for paintball. Of course. Know. See, answering his question already. That's exactly my right. Question. So, well, yeah. <laughs> Who are we starting with? What do we got? We got Paul Farrell says, I'd like to see you have a shooting video for the Etha 3M with the Gen 4 infamous trigger. Thanks. So he wants to see the shooting video, Etha 3 with the new Gen 4 infamous Okay, so we can definitely make that happen for you, Paul. Let's wait till it gets a little bit warmer outside here in Michigan. That's where all the shooting stuff happens. And I think currently it's like 23 degrees outside. Yeah, that, that means just, breaking pain. Yeah. It means miserable people filming. It's not a good mix. Fingers aren't going to be as fast. We really want to show you how quick these things can shoot. So good. We're definitely going to put that on the docket in the, in the other room there with Fitz. He's got it on his checklist. So we'll make that happen. When it gets just a little bit warmer. Yep. All right. Next up, we got Mill 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 Wick Bay. We got Will <laughs> Mill. It's Mill. Millie. It's Millie Willie McVeigh. Will McVeigh. What happened to Jake? He's not in any of your videos anymore, and I'd hope to see you guys at Living Legends and Monster Game again. You should bring your NXL setup to Monster Game. Your NXL First. setup that's just the tent with the free water. <laughs> probably <laughs> so will's, will's thirsty first part of this what happened to jake he actually grew up uh he was doing the team insanity thing for a while but now he is a certified nurse and he works at a hospital so he's working long crazy hours and, and if you get injured you could go and he could change your bedpan how creepy would that be wow yeah i bet i would bet but that he's would a be very, lovely he's a respectable and mature adult now yeah he's uh he's got a real real job and he's out there taking care of people uh, second off, yeah, we probably will this coming year um, pop out to Living Legends. They're probably going to have it right back at Hell Survivors and obviously the Monster Game. And then bringing your NXL setup to the Monster Game. Like Mark said, when we go to the NXLs, it's just a tent where the media guys kind of just edit videos on scene and then we give away free water. So we don't ever sell anything. You only buy the best gear at LomoPaintball.com, of course. But sure, I mean, maybe we'll have a tent out there and just have some of the media crew just chilling. But Yep. I mean, we're not going to be selling anything out there, so. We could. Would you buy stuff? If, what if we sold you stickers? Five bucks a sticker. That's an insane price. I know, but I'm trying to make it worth our while. Okay, so we'll we'll see you out there at least, if not one, maybe both. Though, and there'll, there'll be somebody from Lone Wolf there. Usually Fitz is out there and some of oh, the media for guys. Sure. So We know. will have a crew out there at, at probably both Living Legends and Monster. Yes. Shane Grimm says, what are some basic skills for a new player to work on in order to play in tournaments? These are the questions we're looking for. The down and dirty, gritty, get you on the right track. All basic right. skills. All right, Mark. You st well, okay. First <clears throat> off, years ago when I didn't have as much gray hair as I have now, we would shoot videos like this on snap shooting and laning and all the good stuff. So go back in the channel and search mm -hmm. Um, you know, how to become, I forget the titles, but we have videos yeah, like this already. Yeah, beginner, uh, what to wear, beginner skills, how paintball 101. I'm trying to think of some of the names we've used for them. Yep. We can redo some too. It's probably about time to, to this, recover. This spring or early yeah, summer we'll, yeah, we can, when we can, we can be can outside. But I mean, starting off, assuming that you've been playing paintball, at least recreationally, uh, big things, snap shooting, getting used to popping out from behind a bunker and keeping yourself tucked in so nothing's being exposed is a little different than, you know, hiding behind a oil can or a, a pallet or something. Um, being able to switch hands left and right without, you know, coming over, you're shooting right-handed and like coming over all the way, exposing your hopper and elbow, being able to switch and shoot comfortably both left and right stuff. You can literally sit at home on your couch and just swap your gun and being able to use, you know, be ambidextrous with that. Yeah. Keeping a, a, a line of fire going while you're reloading without, you know, don't bring your gun down to refill Correct. your hopper. You want to keep the pressure on the other team so you're shooting constantly. Speaking of that, the laning is very important. Just starting out of a start box and off the break, you know, tell yourself, set a timer, three, two, one, go. Practice where your paint's going to be going as soon as that game starts. So laning is huge. 
getting those kills off the break is a big one. Uh, training, being being an athlete. I mean, going to the gym, eating right, uh, stretching, you know, work on those legs. A lot of paintball players um, have very, very strong, you know, calves and quads because they're out there, they're running, and they got to get to their spot quick before they get shot. Yeah, it's, it's rec games, right? You can play at your own pace usually. Oh, I'm going to stay in the back this round. I'm going to, mm -hmm. you know, maybe move up or I'm going to try and sneak around. A tournament, I mean, it's fast paced, fast moving. Unless you definitely know you're going to be the back player the entire time, <laughs> you're going to need to sprint at times, even though you know, points are what, five minutes? Uh, you know, you might be out of breath if you're not in shape. Uh, work on your communication too. Huge. Make sure that's huge. You know, sometimes when you're playing rec, you don't think about shouting out where other player positions are or where you're going next. You got to do that in a tournament. If your players don't know what you're doing on your team, good luck. Yeah, it's going to be a sign for failure. I think that was a good one. Yeah, the communication. If you plan on getting on a team, make sure you kind of get close knit with them. Even as, as dumb as it sounds, go out to eat with them before for breakfast or after you guys have practiced, talk about what you guys did good that day, what you guys did bad that day, what you guys can work on and just kind of building a bond with the people that are going to be your teammates goes back to communication. If you guys can be one solid unit, you're going to do a lot better than everyone kind of just playing on their own Island by themselves. Yeah. So it's huge. Uh, learn to kind of strategize when, you, cause the, most tournaments release the, the map layout of the field beforehand, you know, and walk the field before the game too, so you can see where those lanes are, where those openings are, where is there good coverage, where can you see people that they may not be able to see you. Uh, because if you go into it blind, like, ah, we're just gonna go do it, you're gonna get slaughtered. A lot of, yeah, a lot of good points there, yeah. Walking the field's huge, um, yeah, making sure what you practice in your hometown, the layout, that bunker's in the same spot as it was what you practice, and if not, you're gonna have to figure something else out. Um, yeah, I mean, other than that, if you want to play against some of the best you know, teams and players in the world, you got to be fit. You got to be you get your mentality right. Stay hydrated. Drink some transfuse out there. So um, there's a lot of things that you just don't become a great player overnight. You got to work on every single one of those things that we just talked about. Well, I've got and one last tip. I mean, we can go in this. We'll probably do a whole nother oh, video series sure. on this. If you're just starting out and you want to move up in the rankings quickly, bring lots of cash. <laughs> You'd be surprised how many teams you can bribe to take a dive to elevate yourself. And some people even say you might be able to pay to be a pro team instantly. Hey, you never know, man. You got to have the cash, though. It is not a cheap sport. But Talent yeah. or money. And then, Well, even, okay, so back to that before we close this out. Talking cash, you want to shoot and have the best gear in the game to give you that advantage, guess what? It's going to cost cash. You got, I mean, there's some guns you can get in at a great value, but if you want to be shooting a CS3 or a Lux or whatever the higher end guns are these days, and you're going to need money. Yeah. So. And maintain your gear. You can't be having it break midpoint and, you know, oh, what am I going to do? Now you're just a detriment to your team. Ooh, we could do us all day. Yes, sir. All right, we're going to close it out with Shane. That, uh, yeah, we kind of went in deep on that one, and there was only three. So continue to submit the questions. Like we said, anything, paintball or, you know, hey, even life advice. We could be Dr. Yeah. Phil if you need. You want to know what Caesar eats for breakfast on Thursday mornings? We can tell you. I mean. Yeah, <laughs> it's going to get weird in here. I have a feeling <laughs> if people are watching this, anything, not just paintball, ask us, but always shop the best. It's Lomo Paintball. Dot com, of course. Let's go. See you.